guys doing today? I'm Ed Florentino here at Tally's Pier 77 Marine. So behind me I have a 2023 Regal LS9. This vessel was recently introduced a couple days after Christmas. This is the vessel that will replace or has replaced the 2800 that everybody's very familiar with. This vessel has taken quantum leaps forward into the industry. It has a double step performance hull. It's 29 feet long with a nine foot beam. It's got a Mediterranean blue bootstripe, a white bottom and a steel gray hull. It comes standard with a powered hardtop. And on the underside of that powered hardtop, it's hard to see right now, but also has a steel gray color complementing the whole side of this vessel. Let's go ahead and climb aboard and let's take a look. Step it onto the back platform here, the LS9. You can see this massive nine foot beam that we have giving you much more usable space to utilize back here in the back of the boat. We also have a larger swim platform. We have our underwater swim step. This boat does have the high performance stereo system. What separates this vessel from the other Regals that you're familiar with is we do still have the Fusion head unit, but we have JL speakers. This boat is also equipped with wake subs on either side of these entrances over here our subwoofers to include a third subwoofer that's located underneath the helm seat. This vessel has two speakers in the stern, four in the cockpit, two in the bow, plus your amp and subs inside the boat. This vessel does have two amps as well if you had that question. Transitioning through here, you still have your ultra lounges located here on the back. This vessel is equipped with the Volvo Penta 380 stern dri driven engine. You do have the standard power and hardtop that I mentioned before. I will be laying this down for you guys shortly so you can see how this operates. As you transition into the boat here, you see this large array of space that can be utilized for entertaining. We have a plethora of space and storage in this vessel as well. That's a main separator from our old 2800 to this new LS9 is the amount of space and the abundance of areas where you can store different things. It's also equipped with a teakwood table. You've got two large Volvo Penta glass cockpit displays here at the helm. You also have a companion screen located over here on the port side of the vessel. You have your head over here with your electric flush, your sink, pressure water, package and pump out fittings. Here's your head unit for the fusion stereo system. It can also be controlled through the companion screen and or the Garmin screens up top. You do have your trim tab controls. You do have your bow thruster coming up forward. You still have what everybody knows for your bow walk through doors for those cool evenings to keep that air from blowing through. Your windshield and the doors are all located on an eight pound magnet just as before. Your bow seating environment you still have a plethora of storage located throughout the entire boat all through here comes up forward as well and then up forward to your anchor windlass one thing that i really want to emphasize to you guys on hey ed why else is this vessel taking quantum leaps forward into this industry this is all digital switching, guys. This is huge. So if you're looking at our dash, you see that there's very little to no switches or buttons on this dash, dash whatsoever. So now when we come over and we go to our vessel screen, we go to digital switching. This digital switching screen now allows you to operate the hard top the windlass, the platform, the lights, the accessories, everything through here. And when you're utilizing like the different light displays and such, you can see it all on the vessel itself. I don't want to dig too far into this on this video, guys, but come on and see me and we'll be glad to show you more about this vessel. It also has push to start. So now you have a little key fob that will recognize that fob to go ahead and get the vessel started. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and lower down this powered hardtop. I just skipped ahead for a second, save you guys some time, but these two handles unlock. This will lay down. Now on your cool evenings, you get caught in a rainstorm, you wanna completely shade yourself from the elements, you need to go underneath an extremely low bridge, storage, however you like to go about it. Closing your walkthrough doors, closing your windshield, trying to create a concealed, closed off environment. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and lower this hard top down. If you guys were able to tell or not, I'm I'm tall guys. I'm six foot five. Taylor here, who's recording me, he's also six foot five. We're both large gentlemen that can sit up straight in here while this hard top is down. So you have plenty of room to utilize when you're inside of the vessel itself. And it's just a matter of powering it up to bring the tower right back up. It's just a matter of pushing this back up here and then locking it down and then locking down this side as well to go back to the fixed motion that you were at. Now, if you just wanted to bring it down a little bit have shade coverage in a different manner. Say you're anchored into the sun. Say the sun's a little low in the sky. You don't want to completely lower this all the way. You can definitely just sit down here and just lower this down to the top of the windshield just to work to your advantage to shade all this depending on where you are out on the water. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the Regal LS9. If you haven't taken a notice, I said earlier, this is a 2023 model. This is a 2023 model. I only have a handful of 2023 models left on this lot to include a couple other models separate from this LS9. Regal is helping us with rebates and we have sales going on to assist in moving our 2023 inventory. If you're interested in learning more about this vessel or one similar like it or ordering one that'll fit your needs, feel free to give us a call at 704-892-8555 or you can email us at sales at tallyspear77.com.